Hello beautiful people, Lingy here. Today's video is going to be a simple tutorial on how to rock a wig. I found this wig in my local beauty supply store. It's a Bobbi Boss wig and I wanted to try it out. So if you guys like what you see, keep on watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Blogspot, Twitter, and Snapchat. It's all Lingy was here and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, so let's get right into it. First, here goes my wig cap. I decided to go with a nude wig cap so we can show through the part. But you can choose a black wig cap as well. And here goes the star of the show. This is the Bobby Boss wig. The name of the wig is called Copper. So the first thing I do after I put my wig cap on is I lay down all my edges with some edge control. I put this all around my hairline just to lay it back and flat into the wig cap. Then I pull my wig cap all the way forward, like even on my forehead forward. Then I pull my ears out and then I push my wig cap back so I can show a little bit of hair. In my opinion, this keeps it looking a little more natural than the hairline that the actual wig cap has. And here goes the wig after I take it out of its package. I shake the wig out a little bit just so it can get loosened up. And this wig in particular has a kinkier texture which makes it natural for my features. Next, I pull the wig on and pull the lace out, just to see what it's looking like. Then I take the wig off and cut off all the lace. While cutting the lace, you want to make sure you don't cut off any of the baby hairs that lay in the front. Then I put the wig back on. And here's where you can put all your bobby pins in. If you want to live life on the wild side, you could just put one in the back like me. <laughs> this wig comes with four clips, I think. Two on the side, one in the back, and one in the front, if I'm not mistaken. I make sure I put the combs under my wig cap or through my wig cap. If you have cornrows, you can put them inside or underneath your cornrows. I tease it a little bit and then comb it back out just to give it a little bit more volume. Then for this wig in particular, I wanted to throw some loose curls in again to give it a little bit more volume. So I took my inch flat iron and began to give the wig some loose curls. I did this all over the wig. And last but not least, this is the most important part of wearing a wig. I take my concealer that I usually put under my eyes or to highlight with. For example, my LA Girl Pro Concealer or my Age Rewind by Maybelline. I take a brush and I put this literally on the part of the wig. And then I set it with a beige powder. I took this beige in the Sweat and Wild palette and put it right over the concealer. And I make sure the wig is a little bit pushed back so you can see my natural hairline. This makes it a little bit more natural looking. And that's it. This is how I rock my wig to give it a more natural look. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I can't do all this with all this banging stuff. Keep on watching and you if you aren't follow me on Instagram block spot <laughs> Hello beautiful <laughs> video is going to be on how to do <laughs> today's video is going to be a short tutorial on how to get this Bob, no. Hello beautiful people, Lingy here. Today's video is going to be a short tutorial on this, <laughs> short tutorial on this wig. <laughs> Alrighty then.